It's 2020, let's bring back some five-year-old controversy, shall we? Hey guys, it's Holly or Potter Minifig Pals, and no surprises here that Leia is one of my favorite characters of pop culture history. She's an icon. I love Carrie Fisher, I love Leia, I love Billy Lord. Princess Leia is an icon. And she's super important as well because she fought to protect her galaxy. She helped Luke and Han, she trained as a Jedi. She was a boss. And not only that, Leia completely switched around the damsel in distress role when Han was frozen in carbonite. She went in and saved him. I mean, she admittedly got caught and that's what we're gonna be talking about today because I want a new Slave Leia minifigure. Now the entire topic of like Slave Leia or Leia in her gold bikini and things like that can be a controversial topic. And I remember there being some controversy about it because Disney has practically tried to like erase that whole situation. It's a very well known scene from Return of the Jedi and Disney has practically tried to remove all references or all merchandise relating to Slave Leia. Now there are a couple of reasons for this and I went back because I wanted to find out when this whole controversy thing happened because obviously upon release Carrie Fisher has openly come out and said that yeah she kind of regrets getting into that costume. However, she has also come out and said that strangling Jabba was her favorite part of any of the franchise. She knows what an icon that costume is. She's aware. At the time, she admitted she does feel uncomfortable. However, she knows what an important part Leia is and how bad of a fighter she was, but also how that costume relates to her entire story arc. Now, I don't want to forget the fact that Carrie Fisher wasn't always fond of it. That is an important point here. But what I wanted to talk about today is why I think we should have a new Slave Leia minifigure. And this isn't me just ranting because the Slave Leia minifigures are quite expensive. I have proper reasons why Lego should make another one. When I went back and tried to do some research on why people find the costume controversial, majority of it seems to be dating back to November and December of 2015. And it's important to note that that was the same time The Force Awakens was about to be released. They were doing a lot of promotional work and interviews and of course there was a lot of merchandise being released as well to coincide with the film. The main issues that kept popping up was that people thought it was sexist and overly sexualized. Overly sexualized I can see a lot more than sexist. That one I don't completely agree with although I can see where people are coming from. Now one of the main points I found is there was an action figure that was released along with like I think it was a series of figures and one of them was Slave Leia and there was a father who saw it and just was outraged pretty much. So apparently he had two daughters and was kind of concerned about why is this being sold. Now there is a problem if you are marketing these toys for children four and up rather than say like 10 or 13 and up because they probably don't completely understand the context of where this outfit came from but also the issues that can surround it. However the fact that he was a father and said he wouldn't buy this for his daughters kind of like struck a nerve with me. Now Fisher was asked about this and went uncommented tell her a giant slug captured her and forced her to wear it. So basically the summary is Fisher thought this dad was kind of being really oversensitive and was like it's a costume like it's a part of the movie deal with it. So why I wanted to bring this up is because the father didn't want to buy it for his daughters, okay? Now I couldn't find any record of how old his daughters would have been. And this situation kind of reminds me of the classic like dress code situations that I hear about a lot in America. Even at my school there was pretty strict rules when we had non-uniform days about what you could and couldn't wear. One main thing that kept being brought up is you couldn't wear leggings or like active tights for sport. The options were shorts or track pants. Now it's Australia, it gets really hot, you can't really wear track pants all the time. But at the same time it's really hard to find a pair of active shorts that don't ride up. So lots of us wanted to wear leggings or tights and in most cases you could see less of your butt in those leggings than with the shorts they wanted you to wear. There is also a lot of schools that won't let students wear like spaghetti strap tops or singlets or anything like that because their shoulders are exposed. There's also the whole situation with your skirt needs to be like fingertip length. I even saw one post being like oh your ankles are exposed like go home and change. Or even I've heard a report of someone getting cooled down because their collarbone was showing. Now this is where my problem lies. Girls are being taught from a young age that if you show your body you are distracting and people are saying that girls should get changed or girls shouldn't wear what they want to or what is most comfortable say it's a 90 or 100 degree Fahrenheit day 40 degrees Celsius okay it's hot you're burning you can't wear like a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt I mean I'm wearing this it's winter and they will get called out being told to change because it could be distracting to their peers. Why aren't we teaching the peers not to get distracted by someone's skin? So linking it back to Princess Leia, she is in a slave outfit. Now I do agree that half of the controversy is the fact that she is chained up by her neck and is being enslaved by giant slug Jabba. Okay, so taking that out, let's just take her costume for what it is. It is a gold medal bikini. 
okay? Essentially, that's what it is, with a giant red cloth covering her front and her back. And people have a problem with it because they think it is sexualizing Leia. While that is true to a degree, it is only sexualizing Leia if you allow it to. People don't like seeing that much of her skin. It makes people feel uncomfortable, it makes people feel queasy, and that is something we all need to actively change. Because if you are getting distracted or feeling awkward, at a character's costume where they're showing a lot of skin in the context of which it appears in, you kind of got to reconsider that. For example, if you were to see people running around in their board shorts and their bikinis and their swimmers at the beach, you wouldn't bat an eye because you're used to it. You're used to seeing that amount of skin in that environment. So put it into the context of a movie and it is a costume that a character is being forced to wear as a form of enslavement. Yes, it is unfortunate that she did feel uncomfortable and still had to go along with it. And in hindsight, it probably shouldn't have been in the film. But the fact that it is, we have to own it now. We need to normalize seeing people's bodies, okay? If you look on Instagram, you would see this stuff and just think it's normal, but people have a problem with Leia, and this is what I seem to not understand. And I think half of it does come from the fact that she is being enslaved. She is held around the neck by a chain. That was my whole problem when the Brick Queen dressed up in the costume, is one, you're advertising a children's product in an overly sexual costume with a chain on your neck, and the chain is where I have a problem, and the fact that the product you're talking about is targeted towards kids. Star Wars is an M-rated film in Australia, which means mature audiences, so usually you don't really take your kids to see it, and that straight away tells you that it's not made for kids. So in total, LEGO have made three Slave Leia minifigures, and the last one was released in August of 2013 and retired in January of 2015. Since then, we haven't seen anything. It's been quite a while. And there have been reports as well that Disney has tried to pretty much get rid of all of the Slave Leia merchandise. They don't want it shown anymore. Here's another thought though. What are they going to do in regards to the Skywalker saga? Are they going to put her in the game? Are they going to put her as a character or in the cutscenes? Or are we just going to completely erase her from that game too? Because technically that is Star Wars merchandise. It's a video game. She's a video game character. It's a piece of merchandise that you can buy and you can play through. And the other thing is if you don't want to put her in a set, can I at least have a poly bag and that be the poly bag that I get when I pre-order the Skywalker saga? Because I feel like that would be the perfect place to do it. I really hope she's in that game. They better not cut her out. And in doing that comes another problem. If you're not replacing the Slave Leia merchandise with a different variant of Leia, say her original New Hope costume, that means you're getting rid of one of your most prominent female characters. And in that spot, instead, you will see more male characters. And this brings up a new range of problems. If you walk into a toy store, you'll typically find all of the Star Wars merchandise in the boys section. But the thing is, Star Wars isn't just for boys. There are also a wide range of strong, amazing female characters in the Star Wars universe that you don't really see too much of. You have Ahsoka, you have Padme, you have Leia, you now have Rey as well. There's Jyn Erso as well from Rogue One. You don't see too much of her. The sales of these characters could be significantly less, but you should at least provide an option. If I was a young girl, I would run out and probably buy a Darth Vader action figure, but I'd also want Leia. Because watching Star Wars as a young kid, I resonate to Leia. Yeah, Luke and Han are great characters, and when I'm older I appreciate them too, but girls look for role models as well. This problem also happens elsewhere with Marvel not featuring featuring Black Widow or any of their other females and then just trying to do like a really feminist scene and shove them all in at once. That irks me as well. Don't do that. Just like highlight them. You don't have to force it down people's throats. DC as well took so long to do a Wonder Woman film. People have been asking for it. Black Widow. She was supposed to get a film this year. Unfortunately, it's been delayed, but people have been campaigning for years to get this stuff made. And Leia shouldn't be defined by her slave outfit, but we shouldn't be trying to erase it either. She went in trying to save Han, who in this case was the damsel in distress, who we typically see to be a female, aka Scooby-Doo and Daphne. So this time it was Han and she went in to save him. She wanted to show that she was strong and she wanted to show that she really loved and cared for him. In the case, she got caught, but she completely turned that around by strangling Jabba herself. And this is why I don't want this costume to be completely forgotten. It was an important part of her character arc. Another reason it irks me that Lego's probably not going to ever make a Slave Leia minifigure again is to do with Harley Quinn. Now, I love Harley Quinn and I love Margot Robbie and I love Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn. This is nothing against her. So when the Suicide Squad came out, I remember seeing an article and posts 
saying that her shorts were digitally lengthened to not offend people. And I went back and looked at this photo and knowing what I know now about visual effects, you can tell that they literally copied and pasted it down because the light shouldn't be hitting her sequin shorts like that. I've worn sequins before in my dance costumes. I know exactly how that works. So if you're going to put a character in her costume and have her wear booty shorts or like cheeky underwear, stick to it. Don't digitally lengthen her shorts to do a trailer in some conservative country. Just put a different scene in or change her costume. If you think people are gonna get offended, don't do it. But what irks me most about this is Lego then decided to put in that depiction of the character into the Lego Movie 2, which was then put into the Apocalypseburg set. So we have a minifigure of this. Now, because there's no back leg printing, you can't really see the cut of her shorts. But that costume design is directly inspired by the Suicide Squad. The Apocalypseburg minifigure also has fishnet tights on, which can typically be sexualized as well. Now, I love that minifigure. I have no problems with that minifigure. I really want it. But it just shows as well how people can kind of be selective about what they find overly sexualized or what they find sensitive or that shouldn't be shown at all. Because they are perfectly happy to have Margot Robbie run around in that costume, as am I. It's a great costume. She looks great. She's a great character. But people are kind of sensitive about Carrie Fisher in her her slave layer outfit. Carrie Fisher would have worked extremely hard to get into that costume and she looked fantastic. Good on her. That costume as well has become such a massive part of pop culture history. If you go to a Star Wars convention, there are tons of people wearing it. People love to dress up and cosplay in that costume. When you have a shirtless Chris Hemsworth in Thor, people don't come screaming and crying about how this is overly sexist and overly sexualized. People are fine with it because people are used to it and we need to start getting used to women, you know, having skin. Can you believe? Like even I better watch out, my wrist is showing, like that's way too much skin. Oof. Now this argument could go on forever, but basically the summary of it is Lego, don't be shy make a slave layer minifigure. It is important to show people that we shouldn't be overly sexualizing female characters. As long as you're not marketing that set to young children, there should be nothing wrong with it. And if people like that father with two young daughters want to get offended, well, let's just remember that he probably really likes Return of the Jedi, so. <laughs> Leia is a strong and independent and confident character and we can't just erase her entire storyline from Return of the Jedi because people get offended by her stomach. We're all human, we all have bodies, because at the end of the day, she isn't just some object that sits there. She kills Jabba in the film. Not Luke, not Han, it was Leia. And let's not forget that. So this video kind of touches on a lot of heavy topics and not everyone's gonna agree with me and that's fine. At the end of the day, I'm a girl. I like seeing Slave Leia. She makes me feel strong and cool and powerful. And Carrie Fisher looked damn good in that outfit as well. And if we don't ever see a Slave Leia again, I'm not gonna whinge and cry about it. I'll be disappointed, but that's the thing. I wouldn't be surprised. If you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this, give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think Lego should make a Slave Leia minifigure? Or do you think the subject's way too touchy and that they should just steer away? Those are all my thoughts for today, so I'll see you later.